learn more about the artists, etc. But we are doing our own education as we go along, you know. But this whole art history, which played a huge important role, even about you know the institution today, you know how they curate their show, what they have in their collection, etc. I think this is something that is basic, you know. It depends where you want to work, you know, but if you want to work in London, even in any of those institutions, you know, that they have a history, they have a collection history, and I think that, uh, uh, I mean, in a way, I think you have a base that can lead you everywhere, to the gallery, to the auction house, to the institution, to a fair. Um, I mean, what I need to tell you is that the fair is less glamorous than you think it is, you know, it's just like a lot of the volunteers that we have that sometimes think it's more art angles oriented than it actually is, you know, like the curator, like Koyo has a great job, she creates the program, it's really, you know, having those discussions, doing research, etc. But really the organization of the fair is like small heads, you know, doing crazy things, you know, like uh, uh, running around, fundraising, you know, so I mean, I think that like one of my main, um, in a way, advice to you guys would be to definitely get the fundraising trying to learn about fundraising and maybe this is, has nothing to do with art history or anything like that but if you create an exhibition you need to, to even in the biggest museum they are uh, asking for sponsors and trying to find ways of you know uh, raising money the Serpentine Gallery you know I help them with the sponsoring for uh, Pascal Martin Tayou which is one of the exhibition and I know you've seen Coco prepared nicely a few uh, things where you could see contemporary African arts for the people who are interested but uh, um, this is also something very exciting for us, the Serpent and Diary having an African artist for the first time, you know, this is maybe not major for you guys but for my industry it's like, you know, we're rich it. it's like so exciting and, uh, and uh, but this is like, you know, little things that help, for example, Hans Ulrich being part of the forum the first year, he did those interviews then he picked up one of his artists, he brought it to Art Basel when he was creating those 12 rooms, you know, I don't know if you've heard about this project, where he had 12 performances and it was, I think, I mean, I don't know what it was, but I think this uh, project already existed and he kind of like, uh, uh, kind of uh, did a new version of it or something, but he took an African artist, he interviewed to do the performance, you know, in those 12 rooms. And then, you know, after those talks, whatever, he decided to go for, a, you know, an African artist, you know, at the Serpentine Gallery. So any little step you do, you know, helps you do something else. And I mean, in this particular case, it's their Serpentine Gallery. I think in the month, in the world of art fundraising, I think they're the most talented people <laughs> in terms of how much money they're able to raise, you know, together, like Hansel and Julie uh, Petitron, so I don't know what her name is. Um, I see, you know, I go to the allies, I see, you know, how much money they raise, etc. When it came to African arts, you know, none of their usual, you know, sponsors, they want to sponsor an artist that had no idea, you know, who they were, etc. So they came back to me, which I'm struggling every year to get sponsors, to help them get sponsors, you know, for, you know, this African artist, because none of their usual, you know, suspects would, would do it. So, I mean, I think, you know, that just gives you an example, maybe in my whole, you know, experience fundraising, I think, um, with art history would have been, you know, things I would have loved to have in my, uh, in my set of uh, expertise, you know, because this I learn as I go, I learn, I read, I do all those things, but it's not the same of having the, you know, the, the luxury to have three years of just studying art history, you know, like, uh, if you don't do it now when you're young, this, I mean, even if I'm trying, you know, like I would have maybe in my retirement to do it, I don't know, I won't have that luxury to just take another three years of my life and just concentrate on like, you know, missing the gaps, you know, I have on, uh, on, uh, on the art history. So I think that uh, actually it opens more doors than them. Um,